All right. Last tool for this chapter is the subtotal tool. So we are in the sheet sub D. And let's say we want to use the subtotal tool to find the subtotal per province. So subtotal tool is not the same as pivot table, which is coming in the next chapter. What will happen here is that we want to group together all those that are from the same province. These are Philippine provinces. And we want them grouped together and we want the hours and the wage added. So group the provinces and then add the hours and the wage for each of the group. So you could do that manually all you want, but why don't you use the subtotal tool? So the very first step is we need to sort the data according to provinces or according to how you want your subtotal to be grouped. So I will sort them now. And I will sort using the fastest way I am familiar with. Just right click on the cell of the column that you want to sort. So let's say I want to sort by province. I will right click on any one of its cell. There should be a sort option. And then you could now sort A to Z. And as long as your table is correctly arranged, it's not connected to any other data or table your entire table all the columns will follow so again let me repeat that just right click any cell of the column that you want to sort sort a to z the entire table will update based on the sorting so now it's grouped together according to provinces we'll go to data and then on the very Last part of data on the rightmost, you should see there the subtotal tool. And then once you have the subtotal tool, all you have to do is put here at each change in province. Here, at each change in province, sum. What do we sum? The hours, check, and the wage, already checked. Okay, so this tool is found at the rightmost part of the data tab. So at each change in province, sum the hours and the wage, then click OK. And there you have it. You now have the subtotal for each of the provinces. There are even groupings here. You could click here so that they will collapse or click over here so all the groupings will collapse looking like a summary. You could click the number here, number three, to show them all. Now, let me repeat the steps. I will remove that. And let me show you all the buttons there. All right. So first, again, sort according to how you want your data to be grouped. Then go to data, subtotal, So note, uh, if you notice, I click the outline um, group here. Your subtotal button may be right on the tab itself. So maybe you don't need to click outline. Maybe subtotal is already presented to you. It's just my screen is compressed. That's why it has to go under subtotal. But the subtotal tool can be found over here together with the tab. So subtotal at each change in province sum okay just just to note there are other aggregate tools you could have here you could count you could average if you want but the most um reliable one or the one that makes sense is to sum them and then check the columns that you want subtotals to show up you know, I want the hours and the wage it doesn't make sense for the rate to be added then there are checkboxes below. Just leave them alone. They're already okay. Just check, replace current subtotals, check summary below data. Those should be fine. Click OK. And now you have grouped data according to provinces with summation for hours and wage. You even have a grand total over here.